Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Priming, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2. <laughs> so, um, right up here, I was looking, and uh, I thought I had seen a new area inside Lumber, but it's not. It's, uh, it's the rocks and stuff that we had discovered last time uh, during the last update. So, I'm still kind of just looking around. I mean, it's not very often you get... A platform that's way up in the air and you get to like look around but if you wanted to build one you could and you've seen how to do it just a, a bunch of ladders and just building up so um, I thought what I'd do today is basically just build because that seems to be <laughs> what you guys want to see so and it's lumber so it's not really so much the um, the gameplay it's the talk the listening to me ramble about what I consider nonsense sometimes um, just because that's what it's always been told to me it's, uh, it's just nonsense it's not real talk um, but it is when it comes to like advice or just life experiences and stuff like that that's what most conversations are. I mean, it, a conversation without life experience is just fact data. It's just facts. It's not opinion. It's not passionate. Um, of course, I, I don't know. Can you have facts with no opinion? If you're having a conversation? Maybe. Probably could. But, uh... I think I know what one of the contributing factors to uh, to people who leave my channel is, and it's growing up. I mean, I hate to to put it in terms like that, but if you think about it, when you oh gosh, come here, when you start to grow up and you start to not evolve, mature into young adults, it's a point where you lose the pretend and I think Roblox has definitely brought that back out of me in as far as like imagination and pretending and everything else and I think that's why I love Dungeons and Dragons so much it's the pretend factor because when you're young when you're a little kid you can pretend all day long I mean that's that's what play is it's make-believe and imagination, and that's part of growing up. <clears throat> um, for example, um, while I'm in here, I can pretend like I am a master lumberjack who builds amazing sculptures or amazing structures and explores the land for new adventures and. Everything else. It's one one of the reasons I love Lumber Tech Into so much is because of the building. Uh, and you've seen me try to recreate this system, and I think what I've got so far is really close, but it's definitely not <coughs> precision like this is, because like that that's definitely canvassing of some kind, some kind of blueprint building. That I just I don't understand yet, and I will eventually. But for now, we're just plain. But then I thought, what's the difference between play and work? You know, what makes it <clears throat> where I come in here and I get onto a video game? And I'm here for 30 minutes, an hour every day, just hanging out and, and doing stuff. But I record it, and then it gets translated into work. I mean, this is... It's no longer a YouTuber just making videos. This actually produces money for me, for, for my family, for, for Code Primate, the brand name. So, at what point did my play 
change and morph and turn into work. I mean, I don't feel like this is work, but it's definitely, I have to come out here every day and at least record one video. So my biggest thing was perception. And I found that pretend imagination, all of those things, they kind of tie into exactly what I'm saying. And I think people get tired of their jobs and get tired of their lifestyle because of the perception of what that is, how they, uh, how they look at it. To me, I've, uh, be before I went and started working for a company doing IT, I saw my career as work. I was a correctional officer, I was a Marine, and I went to work. I didn't see it as, as play. You know, you got a job to do. You've got money and bills that you gotta pay. And computers were always just a hobby. Well, when I actually got my job, I told myself, and I made myself perceive, like, this is not a job. I'm not going to go to work. I'm going to get paid to play with computers all day long. And I've, I've kept that perception for uh, almost, no, eight years now. So eight years I've been working inside IT, which is longer than any job that I held before, which was longer than any, like my Marine Corps was four years active, four years in active reserve. Um, I worked at Hardee's for about a year. Um, I did college for four years, four, six years. So it's longer than that. Um, the only thing that's been like, oh, my kids, uh, my kids are nine and 12. So, but they, they don't really count as jobs or, you know, it's, it's time perception and the things that I do. And I don't feel old. So I know a lot of you are looking at me like, yeah, code primates, the oldest YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Uh, I'm not. And I think that the perception is, is what drives a lot of people to quit their jobs, to not enjoy time with their family, to, to not enjoy things. So never stop pretending or imagining or, or having fun, you know? That's one of the joys of being a human being is imagination. Because like inside Roblox, I could go to, I could go right now to the games page. And if I wanted to be a dragon, I could be a dragon. There's a, there's a dragon simulator. If I wanted to go and pretend like I was a parent and adopting a kid, there's a game for that. The, the funny um, meme used to be, there's an app for that. And I, I think there's, there's a new meme. <laughs> there's a game for that. Because you could definitely, you could definitely spend all day inside Roblox pretending and playing and having fun. Oh wait, was that, that door's not open. Hold on, I have to open that door. So I mean, Call it what you will, but if you're in school right now, right, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I have to spend another day at school, and you're not using some kind of imagination, pretend, or play during that day, I think you might be growing up too quickly. And this goes for the teachers as well, because uh, if you are a teacher and you lose perspective of these kids are wanting to learn something fun and imaginary and it's it i promise it's still there even the adults that are watching this right now are going huh what's he talking about um don't look at your job as 
something that you have to go and do every single day to get money to pay for the bills uh, for your family. Look at it as I get the opportunity to hang out with some coworkers or go and, and play in whatever field it is for the day. If you're on lunch break right now and you only have a certain amount of time to watch the show, because I, I guarantee you right now as you're watching this, I'm on lunch break. I'm probably at my desk. And I got asked the other day, um, Heath, why don't you go out to lunch? Why, why, why do you stay here? Honestly, um, I would rather be in the internet. I would rather be watching a YouTube instruction tutorial or some ooh, some kind of um, uh oh, oh, oh. Whew. <laughs> Hold on, I have to concentrate right here. <laughs> nice. And I, I really would. I would rather be um I would rather be in front of a computer than out in the woods. I would rather be in front of a computer than playing a baseball game. Um, I find this, this is my escapism. This is my, um, when I need to go unwind or when I need to go relax or when I need to actually sit down and work, this is it. This is the, the computer is my passage into the realm of fantasy and pretend, but that's just it. It's not a fantasy. It's not a pretend game. This is very much the the future of like everything. Businesses have gone online. Um, everything that I do is just it's entangled into what is happening in reality. I mean, I make YouTube videos, right? Let's just take an example. YouTube videos. Um, the way actual YouTube works is companies go to YouTube and they pay them for adverts. Um, you probably see them down here, the, the little yellow, yellow um, line. As the thing comes up, boom, there's an ad, right? That generates revenue for YouTube. And because it's my content, I get uh, a uh, percentage of that. I think it's like 70% of the ad revenue itself. And YouTube keeps the rest, but that's that's how it works. So they've taken something where it, it's brilliant. It's a genius idea. Unless you have a pop-up blocker, which is probably over there somewhere. Do you have a pop-up blocker on? Is, is that what I see? Just kidding. So it's, yeah, it's work, but I mean, it's not work. Does that make sense? When did we uh, pass from a brick and mortar place where we have to go and sit down at a desk or go to a counter and work or go to an, uh, a checkout line to I can sit in front of my computer, turn on a video game and make money. And don't get me wrong, I could not live off YouTube because it's very unstable, first off. Um, the amount of money that I make per month can vary anywhere from $500 to $2,000. That is a huge change in flux in, in value. I, I could make $2,500 in a month, but it really depends what kind of content did I do, what videos did I make. And a lot of aspiring YouTubers, a lot of p kids um, ask me all the time, like, how do I become a good YouTuber? Uh, I don't know that you ever become a good YouTuber. It just, it kind of happens. It's where, uh, the, the, the only advice I can give you is what I have done. And that's record 15, 30 minutes every single day. Record what you want. Record what you like to play because the audience is definitely going to see that. And 
have fun. Respond, respond to people. If somebody says hi in your comment section, write hi back. What does it, what does it hurt to just write a comment? Um, get really fast at typing. I know that a lot of kids, you're growing up with computer keyboarding classes. Well, it was called keyboard. It's computer classes now. The speed at which you type, even if it's wrong, will help you speed up what you can do in a day. Um, editing. Edit, edit your videos if you want to. I don't edit my videos. And the reason I don't edit my videos is time. Um, one of the reasons I can come out here and produce a video and have it out by the next day is because I don't edit. Everything that you've seen so far, the the cut into the, the intro, that's live. That was not edited in. The outro that I'm gonna be doing here in just a little bit, live. It's all live. And what this allows me to do, because uh, I do a live recording, is it allows me to um, quickly upload. So the moment I get done recording, I can go straight to YouTube and start uploading. Um, a lot of people, and a lot of YouTubers, they don't do that. They, uh, they will record and then they will edit with some kind of software. They will re-render it and then they will upload. That can take hours, if not days of time. Why do you think YouTubers hire people to edit their videos for them? I mean, I don't think Markiplier or Jacksepticeye have edited a video in forever. And they're just big YouTuber examples. Um, sometimes there's an entire team of people behind a YouTuber, and that's usually like the mark of their success. If you can hire somebody, you're making enough money to support somebody else, not just yourself. So, just a thought. Where was I going with all this? I have no clue. Oh, pretend. Uh, so, uh, pretend an imagination. I think to, to have a really good life moving forward, you need to have some degree of imagination and pretend in your life. And it has to continue throughout adulthood, through your childhood, through old personhood. <laughs> you make fun now, Code. Wait until you're 60. Yeah, sorry. True. 60s coming up in about 30 years. Um, no, I'm 37, so 20 years. Oh my goodness, that just really? I got 20 years until I hit my 60s. I think 20, 23 years. I got 23 years. It's cool. We can reach 200,000 subscribers by then, right? Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Um, there's not too much advice I can give or, you know, just, <sighs> don't be a troll. There we go. <laughs> if, if you ever need advice, don't troll people. <laughs> I don't know. Would it be easier if I were to like make it up there? Oh, oh, we the moon turned! Yay! We got we caught the moon in the middle of its rotation. Code the, the moon doesn't rotate. Oh, I know that, but it's fun to to see it go across the sky. I also don't think the moon goes in an ex exact ellipse around the top like that. I think it like it moves more in a horizontal pattern like that. And technically, it's it's orbiting us. It's not. Never mind. Science. Oh, oh, oh! Stop! Stop! Oh gosh! What have I broken? There we go. Um, the test that you have to take inside school. Stop worrying about them. Okay, you're going to do fine because you were in class and. You listen to the teacher and you did your homework and there's there's no stress that you have to worry about because it's okay. 
I mean, even if you were to fail, was it 25% of everything? That's still 75%. That's still a passing grade. Um, a lot of people get caught up in what grades you're going to get. A lot of, and some schools have gotten away from it. Like, what is it? Um, approaching and mastered. That's like the two things. And I kind of understood that, but I was mad about it because I was like, ah, I got A's, B's, and C's whenever I was in school. What was this? But then I thought about it. A doctor who makes all D's in college is still a doctor. Just depends on how good the doctor is. A computer programmer who aces every single test is still going to have the same work opportunities and the same degree as someone who barely passed. I hear dogs in the background. There's dogs in my neighborhood. We also have coyotes. I mean, I've heard coyotes before out there. That's always fun to try and explain inside a video. What was that, Cub? What was that sound at 3210? Um, and then you have to go back and listen to it. And go, oh, that was a coyote in the background. I didn't know that was happening. My bad. Oh, it's Friday, by the way. I'm like, yay, Friday. <laughs> so. Uh, I'll try and answer some comments um, if I'm not playing or working with Roblox Studio at the moment. Which I could be. Who knows? I could be working on something. Hold on a second. Yes, honey. I am recording. Okay, I'll check on them. That was my lovely wife. She said uh, she didn't check the gates for the dog today. I will go check that here in just a little bit. Charlie's gotten old. Charlie dog. Uh, I have a lot of people ask me, do you have a dog? I do. His name is Charlie. He is a black lab mix. And he is old. We got him when Hope was two. He was only about a week old. So, well, he, he had to be a couple weeks old. I mean, he was weaned, so. Weaned means uh, they're actually eating solid food out of a bowl, and they no longer need their mother. But he, uh, the cutest little black bundle of joy. Bright blue eyes. They're brown now. Uh, <laughs> he did a Pokemon Evolve. <laughs> Mac micro micro evolution something like that it's where you still have the same genes that you're born with it's just due to a condition or due to um, some kind of exterior change in the environment that gene changes either gets turned on or gets turned off for example gray hair in humans at a certain age, the uh, gene for hair color starts to get turned off, which causes you to go gray. The reason I knew this is because I, I watched a, a lot of YouTube. <laughs> um, some, some people are uh, very blonde when they're kids. I was a very blonde kid. Um, whenever I was first born, I'm talking days, weeks after I was first born, I had just jet black hair, just completely dark. And by the time I was two years old, it had gone from like as, as black as my shirt to as, as blonde as my skin. I don't know if my skin's blonde, but that's, that's the color change difference. And then, uh, once I hit middle school time frame, middle school, high school, my hair started to fade back into a brown color. And now, oh no! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Woo! It started to fade back into a brown color. 
and then uh, once I started using the hair gel, it just it kind of went back to being black. So, I mean, it's a very dark brown. You could see that in the, in the no hair gel vid if you wanted to. Check out the link in the description down below. <laughs> Actually, it's it, no, it's not going to be in the description. It'll be it'll be somewhere along the uh, other videos. <sighs> Don't stop pretending. That's my advice. Don't stop being a kid. Even when you grow up. Continue being a kid and having fun. And that's that's the advice that I can give you. To carry on in this world and have fun. Oh my goodness, there's so many ladders. Why are there so many ladders? Why did I build so many ladders? Because you need to build up gold. That's true. So what do you think of the build talks? Are they good? Leave leave me a comment down below and mark it with 2609. 2609 and then leave a comment. So it's you, you would just type something like 26 colon 0909 code. I love the chats while you build. Or you could say 26 colon 09 code stop this madness you need to play more and stop talking so much or you could do something like 2609 code I have something very important to tell you hi and then I could just write hi back or something like that. Do something like that and just, you know, mark a time in it, but make it exactly 2609. That way tomorrow when I forget that I said this inside the video, I'll be like, why is everybody marking 2609? And then, uh, oh, 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 this is my favorite. When somebody goes 26 colon 09. Uh, 09, oh, come on, 9. Did you see that? In the background. And that's that's it. And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, what what happened at twenty six oh nine? It's very much a different kind of relationship in between a YouTuber and a fan. Whenever um, the YouTuber actually breaks the fourth wall and like talks directly to the the YouTuber versus saying stuff like, okay guys, today we're going to. Like I don't quite understand that concept, and maybe it's just preference, but. I very much like this right here. The viewer, the YouTuber, the talk, you know, and it's, it really is, this is a one-way conversation because, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to hear your responses exactly right now, but I mean, if you think about the concept of what's actually happening, right? It feels very much like we are holding a conversation, but it's not. I'm talking the entire time and I'm actually not talking to or at anyone at the moment. I'm sitting in my studio, which happens to be my garage, and I'm talking to a camera by myself in a room. <laughs> the concept just uh, just clicked, didn't it? And now that you've got that in your mind, uh, there's other things that you're just not conscious about at the time that they're happening. For example, and don't hate me for this, the fact that your eyelids are a voluntary muscle and you've just become aware of them and now you have to blink. Yeah. <sighs> or that you have to concentrate on breathing because it's not an involuntary muscle. <sighs> if it were an involuntary muscle, you wouldn't have to uh, concentrate on it. <laughs> 2631. Darn you, code. Now I'm thinking about breathing. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's exactly how my comments sound. That's how, how you sound while you're typing it out. And I'm sure that you talk while you type your messages, too. <laughs> oh! I do have a little bit of uh, news. Um, and just a little bit of time to finish this out, because... Uh, 
it is it is time we've we've been recording for 30 minutes but i have a huge announcement so there's a company that is building me a game in exchange i will uh, i will have people play this game and try and get a high score for some prizes uh, now, if you want to see exactly what I'm talking about, Dieter Plays did this earlier, and he actually he uh, sent them over to my channel after he did it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Dieter, <laughs> I miss you, dude. Where you at? Hashtag Dieter Plays, aka G Family Rated Gaming. G, was it G Rated Family Gaming? G G G Fam. They uh. They are an awesome family. And don't let anybody ever tell you any different. Because they are awesome. Right, I guess I could just move these up, right? Yeah, we'll get these out of the way. Oops, sorry. Anyhow, um, that should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'm in the works with working with them um, through email. And we have a, a meeting scheduled for today. I'm like... <sighs> Do we really need a meeting for what you're going to do? And do I need to sit down and listen to your 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 pitch, your sales pitch? I I don't need to listen to a sales pitch anymore. If you want to come and and do something with Code Primate, and you're a business of some kind, like you want to sponsor coffee, I'm I love coffee. You could you could absolutely supply me with coffee to drink on the channel, and I would uh, I would gladly drink that for the video. And mention your name. Maybe even give me a, a cup that has like um, a logo or something that I could face out while I'm drinking the coffee. Ideas like that. Uh, I'm still looking for a coffee company company sponsor of some kind. If you wanted to do that, um, maybe maybe like a T-shirt that you could send to me um, for um, me to wear on camera that maybe has like your logo or your name on it. That uh, I could wear something that would be cool. Um, there, there could also be I don't know some kind of item or something that you could send to me that I could be in the background. Maybe something along those lines. I, you know, just throwing ideas out there. Just something, uh, possibly. But that's you know that's up to you. And by the way. Um, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the little jokes and puns stuff that I, I do, um, <laughs> my kids are an audience. The, the, everybody, uh, the majority of you are probably under the age of 18, under the age of 21. But here's the cool thing. You guys are going to grow up and become like marketing majors, uh, network engineers, um, construction workers, uh, firemen, policemen, um, military you will eventually go on to bigger and better things. You're not gonna be a kid forever, and you're not gonna be stuck in school forever. And the things that you're deciding to do right now, the things that you're learning from, are going to be key factors into who you become as an adult. And that doesn't stop, okay? Even if you become an adult and you, you turn 18 and you're completely uh, goth and you wear black makeup and you've got piercings all over the place and you've got your hair completely blacked out and you've got white face on and you've got black makeup on your eyes and you're like this is me this is who I am I will never change not true not true okay because people change you in 10 years might not even have the same remnants of the same person that you used to be People are continuously changing and continuously evolving, growing. I don't want to say evolving. That's a bad term. Growing and maturing and changing. So never think that you have to stop. Keep learning. Keep doing awesome things. And just look something up. Look up some random facts, you know, that you might not have known. Go and, and tell your teacher those random facts. Unless it's, like, not appropriate. And then, eh, don't do that. But that's, that's the beauty about being you you are unique and don't think that you're not because every human happens to be programmed in the same kind of manner the same kind of way you share something that's shared amongst all humans and that's the want to be noticed I see you I notice you and if you're in the comment section right now typing something amazing Thank you. 
And if you're in the comment section typing something <laughs> rude, <laughs> thank you. You took the time out of your day to actually comment something down below. And you also took the time to watch the video up until this point. That's a fan. Even if you're putting hate comments down there, guess what? You're a fan even though you're putting hate comments because you just watched a video for a really long time just to put a hate comment. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you if you want to. Radio announcer voice on. <laughs> love you guys very much. Have a great night. I will talk to you very soon. It's Friday. Friday! Don't forget, live stream, karaoke, all the good stuff tonight. <gasps> Outro. Thank you.